This is a treat. Let me introduce you to one of the best companies you've probably never heard of. I'm talking about Broad Ridge Financial Solutions, BR for you home gamers. The financial technology business that was spun off by automatic data processing back in 2007. The company's been taking share and taking names ever since, with the stock gaining more than 320% over the past five years. If you're in the financial sector, these guys can help you transform your business. They help banks become more efficient, better at managing risk, and better at engaging with their clients. And a brokerage might even have a lot more room to run. The company reported an excellent quarter this morning, delivering a 21 cent earnings beat off a 79 cent basis, higher than expected revenues, up 6% year over year. Even better, Broadbridge raised its full year earnings guidance. Stocks surged more than 3% today to a new all time high. Can it keep climbing? Let's take a closer look at this exciting company with, with Rich Daly, the CEO of Broadbridge Financial Solutions. Learn more about the quarter and where the company said, Mr. Daly, welcome to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Doing great to be here. Have a seat. All right. Thank you. Your first time on, so I think first I uh, just have, if you can tell people how your company has had an astounding 300% plus game when the market kind of did nothing. Well, Jim, first of all, you know, we're in great space. We're a trusted, emphasis on trust, right. trusted fintech leader. Okay. All right? We have two great businesses. We have a governance communications business, Focus a lot on retail investors, right. and we have a capital market solutions business. Now, financial services has been looking to outsource and reduce costs for right. decades. Right. Through those two businesses, we have the opportunity to grow in wealth management as well as asset management. But let me give you the overall big okay. picture. We do a little over four billion in revenue right now. Right. The market, the addressable market today, is forty billion. So the best is yet to come. Now, just in terms of the number of trades that you supervise, you know, there's. The numbers are rather large. Just give people, like, you know, what you do every single day. Sure. So in our capital market solution business, we participate in six trillion a day. Trillion. <laughs> six trillion. That's what I'm doing. I was reading that, and I said, how can I not know you guys? Okay. How can someone do six trillion a day and people don't know you? We're the behind-the-scenes player. Okay. So we're the technology for 18 of the 23 primary dealers okay. right now. All right? In right. the communications segment, we process... The majority of meetings in every annual meeting across the globe, I'm talking about 100 countries, all right? In the U.S. or North America, it's over 80% of outstanding shares. Everywhere else in the globe, it's over 50% of the outstanding shares. And how about shares. the proxies? That's proxy. Just proxy fights. I'm yes. sorry, the proxy fights. You're involved. With, well, some it, of them you think you could advise better, right? Well, we're the honest broker. So advise is a different word. Okay. We don't care who wins or loses. All right. All we right. care that it's right. Okay. All right? So, but we strongly believe that critical proxy contests, if they use the standards and technology that we use, right. they'd be far better off and we wouldn't wind up in snake pits or other really horrible places at the end. Right, and we've had some automatic data. It was, got difficult. Procter & Gamble got difficult. Shouldn't have gotten difficult. Got ugly. That's absolutely correct. All right, now I wanted to... Um, your company, more than any other company that I've been looking into, actually believes in the importance of the retail investor, the people who watch this show. You care. Jim, my career started with the proxy business and an extra bedroom. It's retail investors that make that business meaningful. The first message I have to your listeners is they matter. Okay. They decided the outcome in P&G. They decided the outcome in DuPont. And in every company, with things like say on pay out there, companies, managements care what retail investors think. Let me give you the overall number. Retail investors make up one-third of the ownership of the U.S. markets or North American markets. One-third. That matters. They're only voting at about 30 percent, slightly less. Their voice needs to be heard. Technology is going to be the answer. We invented telephone voting three decades ago. We invented online voting. We now have mobile voting. 65% of what we do is paperless. Right. You can get your proxy here. Just go to proxyvote.com with any proxy you receive from us. It doesn't matter who your broker is. Go to proxyvote.com, sign up once, and for every position in your account today and every position going forward, you'll be able to vote like I do in three clicks. We have to get you to help us. Uh, I'm thinking about I'm this. In. When we have these big proxy fights, we have to get you to show people what to do. Because we have a huge number of retail investors, and you're the first person who's ever come on this show who actually is trying to help people make it. Not advise, but show them the technology so they can play a role. Absolutely. Technology is the answer to everything we do at Broadridge. Well, 
you know, I'm kind of stunned because it hit me. This is it. I mean, when we have people who want to do these uh, proxy battles, people don't, you know, they, they don't know how to do it. You do, and you can help them. There's an entire industry out there to cause confusion right. in these battles. The answer is transparency, it's technology. At Broadridge, investing in technology is something we consistently do. We talked about that in right. our call today. Right, I read We your talked call. about doing it next quarter as well. And overall, we've invested heavily in technology, whether it be in digital technology for retail investors, right. whether it be in proxy right. mobile technology, blockchain, AI, cloud communications. All right, well, we're, you know, keep all this in mind. This is, this is Rich Dale, he's the CEO of Broadbridge Financial Solutions. He cares about your voice. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah, Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.